Hello, this is Cat's Diamond Painting. Welcome to my channel or welcome back if you joined me here before. Today I am here to do the last unboxing in my little series of purchases where I made purchases on Black Friday, Cyber Monday and the following weekend, which is this one. The reason I've done them this way is simply because they all came in one big order. Um, Diamond Art Club got slammed with orders, so a lot of people found that their orders got consolidated. Um, so it took a couple of weeks for them to be dispatched, then they arrived reasonably quickly with express shipping in a ginormous box. It was so exciting, it was like Christmas come early. So this painting is one that I absolutely would not have purchased um, if I could have restrained myself because I had just spent money on Black Friday and Cyber Monday. However, I had points to use. So Diamond Art Club has a really generous rewards scheme. Um, you receive 10% of every purchase you make back in points on your account or 15% if you're on the highest tier of the rewards structure. And those add up, you know, you make a few purchases, you've got 15% of the value of those back or 10%. Quite quickly, you find that you have enough to just claim a painting on them. And that's what I did with this one. So this was sneak peeked as they always are on Diamond Dark Club's Facebook page. And I just, there was no way I was resisting this when I had points sitting there on my account. So this is Cat Bookshelf by Randall Spangler. I am a cat lover. I enjoy Randall Spangler's artwork. It was a done deal as soon as I saw it. And because of the points that I had sitting on my account, I was able to claim this for, well, because I'm in the UK and points are awarded in US dollars, you have to convert them. Um, so I kind of, I went on Google and worked out what the conversion was. And then I converted a little bit below what I needed. Um, because if you go a little bit higher, then you'll lose those points. They won't sit around waiting to be used on another purchase. Um, so I went $5 lower, um, paid £5 or so of UK money and shipping, and I got this. So I got this for a very reasonable price. As you can see, the box got a little bit mangled on this one, which is the first time that's ever happened to me. So I was a little bit worried when I saw that. That's why this end is open, because I did open it up to have a look and everything looked fine inside. It just seems to be damaged to the box. So let's get in. Let's get into this. So one thing I saw a lot of people saying in the Facebook group when this came out was, oh, what about the dog version? Because I'm, um, Randall Spangler did this sort of exact same painting, but with dogs and puppies. That one came out a while ago. It is available on Diamond Art Club's website. It recently came back in stock. I have no idea if it is still in stock. But yeah, you can buy that one too if you like both or if you're more of a dog person than a cat person. Personally, I'm not so interested in the dog one. The cat one was a must buy for me. So this one is 87 by 70 centimetres. Yet another fairly large painting. But what are you going to do when the artwork really, really calls to you? And I'm anticipating that it'll be one that works up reasonably quickly, despite the size. So, put my sticker on the side, as I always do, for ease of storage. And we'll have a quick look in the toolkit. What did we get this time? Okay. So, Diamond Art Club toolkits. They do still have some kits that you can purchase that will come with their older style toolkit. So if yours doesn't look like this, it just means it's one of the older ones. Don't worry, it still has everything that you need. These newer ones that they released earlier this year just have a few extras. So your um, heart-shaped wax comes in a little container. The applicator and comfort grip, the colours vary. The craft tray was upgraded um, to make it slightly larger and to have a stopper. Um, and this one looks like it's a clear and sparkly one. They've actually upgraded it again recently to make it white and opaque so you can't see through it. Um, and that actually, I think, is going to be really helpful. But never mind. Multi-placers, um, you get a four and a seven-placer. You get a cover minder, 
which I'll show you and explain what that is when I go in there and washi tape, same deal. Ziploc baggies and a set of tweezers if it is a square painting, which this one is. A bit of a squeeze to get everything out okay so here we go so here's the wax two plates in a container one plate of wax will easily do me a whole painting or more so two is very generous you get a pen and squishy there's your tweezers super sharp <laughs> I can have loads of these because I get them with every square kit. So they are helpful, but most of them, to be honest, I don't I don't need them anymore just because I've already got loads. Um, a little roll of baggies. I want to check these actually because I never used to use Diamond Art Club's baggies because I found them a little bit um what's the word I'm looking for? Like they they were a little bit fragile, like um they were very thin. They felt like they'd fall apart easily. These, oh, these feel much better. Yeah, so they have reinforced those, which is very good to know. I'll actually be able to use these instead of buying my own now. Yeah, the um, the ones that they used to have, the actual Ziploc bit was very, um, why can't I think of the word? Flimsy. That's the word I was looking for, flimsy. Um, so it was quite hard to do up, actually, a bit like this one is. Oh, that's because I've got stuff trapped in there. Fair enough. <laughs> um, and it also felt like the bag would give way if you opened it a few times. So I tended to ignore them. But this seems like a big improvement. Um, here's the tray. Stopper there. Nice and sturdy. Some pink flowery washi. So washi tape, people tend to use it for two main purposes. One is to outline the edges of their painting where the glue extends beyond the painting area. And people use it so that that doesn't get all covered in fluff, basically. The other one is some people like to section their paintings off to work on them by placing washi tape over the clear plastic cover to make sections that way. Personally, I, I pretty much just collect it. I don't tend to use it that much, but I still appreciate having pretty things. And, oh, what a funny cover minder. So cover minders are little objects, um, usually like cutesy, pretty things um, like this, which, I, what is it? It's like a lolly, but it's a duck or something. I don't know. That's confused me. Anyway, on the back, we have two magnets. So what you do with a cover minder is when you have peeled back your clear plastic cover to work on your diamond painting and you don't want that to keep getting in your way, you reach under your diamond painting with the bottom magnet. You place the top magnet on top of the painting, on top of the clear plastic cover to hold it down where you want it to be. They connect through the painting and that's your cover dealt with. So I love cover minders. I like to collect them. That one is pretty cute, if a bit surreal. <laughs> okay, I'm going to get this toolkit packed away. Okay, let's have a look in here. I really am looking forward to working on this one. So... You get into the dust cover. This one does not want to come away. I always try and preserve them intact as much as possible so that I can store the diamond paintings. Okay. Diamond Art Club's lovely soft cover. Not cover, canvas. <laughs> Their canvases have this really, really soft tarpaulin, um, I think is what they call it, backing. And they're really flexible. Um, they're sort of they're firm and sturdy whilst being really malleable. They really are the best canvases I've worked with. We'll get our painting innards out. So we have the usual how-to booklet, which says thank you for your purchase. 
and gives you tips and tricks what's included and also links to uh, the VIP Facebook group and to discount codes. And we have our sticker sheet. I really love that Diamond Art Club provides a, a sticker sheet like this. The photo, um, not photo, the picture side of it, I like to put in um, just a notebook that I'm going to eventually turn into a logbook. But this will give you all the painting details as a refresher. So we've got again that it's square, 87 by 70, um, and also the size in inches as well. And a nice bigger picture so you can see a bit more closely what this is going to look like. Isn't it adorable? So we have 58 colours in this painting. Um, good range of colours there, quite a lot of darker ones because I've seen quite a lot of the cats are, are black and grey. So there will be a lot of those quite dark neutral tones. But as is usually the case with Spanglers, there's also lots of pinks and greens and blues that are going to pop out. So although there's maybe not a load of variation in those colours on here, I, I expect there will be a lot of those colours that you see on there, if that makes sense. Love a big fat roller drills. Yeah, look at that. Look at those pinks peeking through. There's greens. Actually, a lot of pale and neutral tones as well. I see a green AB there. This green AB is, is pretty standard in Randall Spangler kits, but that's usually when you're thinking about the draglings, which aren't in this one. So I guess he uses quite a similar colour palette, even when he's doing different artwork styles. Um, a lot of these drills. <laughs> lots of 3799, lots of 3371. So as we thought, lots of darker drills. Let me see what I can spot without getting all of these out. Oh, oh, love it. I forgot to check how many ABs we have. So we've got four. So we've got a pale blue, a dark green, a light green and a white. So... Here we have the white AB. Look at that extra special coating on top for that sparkle. Here we have the green, the dark green, um, and down here I see a pale green AB. And Blue AB. <laughs> Sorry, it's hard to get it into a position where I can show you without taking them all out. And I don't want to take them all out because I want to be able to roll this up again. So yeah, basically exactly what we thought looking at the picture. Lots of neutral tones, like look at all these shades of brown, often quite orangey browns that again, I feel like that's quite a, a Randall Spangler, um, like classic color. Some really big bags of some of these like this yeah is that all yeah three thick bags of that 301 brown for instance but then lots of real pops of color too okay let's have a look at the canvas i'm going to roll it back on itself because it's poured glue so you can do that if you are working with a double-sided adhesive painting ever, do not do this because you will ruin your canvas. You can tell the difference because double-sided adhesive um, paintings have an opaque cover, like a white cover usually, um, whereas pour glue always has this clear cover. Also, more and more companies are doing poured glue now because it's generally considered a far superior glue to work with. So there we are, rolled it back on itself and that should now lie pretty nice and flat. Yes. Beautiful. Right, let me see how much of it I can get in frame. Okay, I can't get the whole thing in frame at once, but I am going to pan over it in a minute. 
I will just show you like this for now. So we've got the chief cat up there, the real cat as it were in the painting. And all these little kittens and cats on books. And the thing I'm really looking forward to picking out is all of the, the titles on the books. Um, so yeah, let's have a look at that now. Okay, from left to right, we have Harry Catter. We have Tale of Two Kitties. We have Cats are from Mars. This one doesn't have anything on. Where that's happened, I'm not sure if it, it may have been blank in the original. Or it may be that whatever was written there was just too big for them to render it into diamonds. Okay, the black cat, the great cat C. That could have been cat's B. <laughs> Maybe they thought that wouldn't fit as well. Oh no, that is... Ah, that's supposed to be a B. Okay, maybe that will be more obviously a B when it's actually diamond painted. We've got Cat on the Orient Express, Dream Cat, Alice the Cat. Is that like an Alice, like through the looking glass type thing? And then we've got more Harry Catter, the cat, the dog. Oh, I don't know what that says. Mm, and that says cats on its side. Uh, <laughs> is that a cat of Green Gable? <laughs> Anne, Anne, cat of Green Gable. I love Anne of Green Gables. <laughs> I read that book so much when I was growing up. That's brilliant. Aesop's cat ball. <laughs> cat -a -ball. Little cat. Tom Cat, The Cat, Catterbury Tales. <laughs> so there you go. And look at all the little sweet cats down here as well. Oh, it's so gorgeous. I'm looking for ones that look like my cat, but none of them really do. He's a colour point a little bit like this one, but not the same colours. Um, and he's floofier than this one. <laughs> So I'm just looking at all the little details. You tend to find all kinds of things sticking out in these paintings when you look at them closer. We've got a little mouse hanging down from the big boss cat's mouth. There we are. Okay, I'm going to pan over this and then I'll come back to say goodbye. You enjoyed having a closer look at the canvas there. I realised I missed a tale of two kitties if you saw me freeze when I went over that. <laughs> so this painting did sell out on release day and it is currently out of stock but it will be back um, so if you want to get this painting you can enter your email address on Women Art Club's website on the entry for this painting and you'll get a notification when it comes back. I'm going to leave this here, get all my new pretty paintings packed away 
Um, I hope that you've enjoyed looking at all of these with me. I've certainly enjoyed unboxing them all. <laughs> um, yeah, and this may well be the last video that I put up before Christmas. I'm not quite sure how timings will work out, but it's probably looking that way. So I'm just gonna take this opportunity as well to say Merry Christmas if you celebrate Christmas. Have a lovely holiday and, and a bit of a break, I hope, um, regardless, and a happy new year as well. So thank you very much for all your support this year on the channel. I really appreciated having you along on the ride with me. Um, and yeah, here's to 2023. Bye bye.